Take it and like it. <laughs> Glorious. Welcome back to some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, and today I am answering a question that I have wondered for some time, and that is, could a 1940s destroyer take on five 1900 battleships in a win? We're going to find out today. So we're going to take on five 1900-era Japanese battleships, and if it doesn't seem like it's too much of a challenge, maybe we will up the year a little bit and see. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and des design our modern destroyer leader. This is all going to be about speed. I don't know that, <laughs> I don't think 60 knots is the way to go. Um, but speed will definitely be key here. So uh, let's start by upping our protections on this thing as much as we can. We can only go up to 2,850 tons. And this is really going to be about torpedoes because I don't see that guns are going to be an option that's really going to do anything here. So um, we do have to have at least one main gun on board, though. So let's go ahead and throw a two-inch single barrel on right there. Let's get a couple of funnels going because we are going to have a lot of speed here. We're almost out of weight already. Uh, so we're going to go with triples. And I need a lot of these because you can see weight's already an issue. Uh, because each one of these only carries so many torpedoes. And I'm going to need enough torpedoes to get it done. Uh, the thing I am worried about, though... Actually, I'm going to switch some of these. Is that I don't want them firing all at the same time. So that'll help avoid that. I don't know how many torpedoes we're going to have. But we're going to take an increased amount of torpedoes. But we're going to take a light amount of reduced shells or a reduced amount of light shells. Um, man. we got to drop the weight some more. Let's go down to about 40 knots. Because we'll use the rest of the weight for some protection here if we can. Let's go geared turbines too. That'll reduce the weight even further. Anti-flood. Reinforced bulkheads. I'm not going to worry about anything to do with the guns or radar for that matter. I guess we could go all the way up to 24 inch torpedoes, but I think 22s will probably do the job. And then we're going to try to protect ourselves as best we possibly can. But that only gets us up to an inch and a half. Okay, beyond that, not a lot we can do here really. We're at 100% engine efficiency. I wonder if we could squeeze some fives on here. We can. Excellent. Eh, it's going to get us over on weight, though. All right. Um, force? Maybe? That's uh, closer. And we didn't even do anything with the shaft here. Let's go down to 21-inch torpedoes. Let's see if that does the trick. All right, we'll see if this is the ship that can do the job. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can do. All right, Wayfarer, let's do your thing. I'm going to turn off the torpedoes until we get to a place where I'm pretty sure we can nail somebody. We're going to have to get in pretty close before we actually spot these guys. There they are. Now my speed I think will help me, but it's not necessarily a sure thing that they don't get a sinking on me here. So, um, what's the range on my torpedoes? I don't have a ton of these things. 14.8 kilometers. Oh yeah, we're well in range. Let's fire some smoke. And get some torpedoes in the water. I 
So we got a few in the water going two different directions here. Uh, these are pretty slow ships. So I'm hoping that helps. But I don't want to get too crazy close. What size guns do these guys have? I don't know yet. I guess I can figure it out by looking at the range that they've got. Six inch guns, 10 inch. So they only have 10s. That's actually good news. But 10s would still do the job. How close are my torpedoes? They're right here. Not entirely sure those are gonna get a hit. Actually feel better about these ones over here. All right, come on, baby. One's not going to be enough to sink anything, though. But we got a beautiful hit right there. And we might get a second one. Oh, well, maybe. It's pretty significant damage. I don't know if the second one's going to get there or not. How close are we? We're only about halfway to reloading. Come on, hit him. That second one might be enough to sink him because it's going to cause damage in such a different part of the ship. I think that's going to be enough flooding. That might be one. The only concern is, do I run out of torpedoes before I do this? So let's see what happens. We've got to make sure that when we fire a bunch of torpedoes that we get a hit. Alright, there's the first sinking. I think these guys all disappeared. Yeah, they're going that way there. Did I lose one of these? Yeah, I lost one of the battleships. I don't see him. So we have to make sure that the next time I fire torpedoes that they're a guaranteed hit. In fact, the, might, the nice thing might be to get out in front of him and fire him this way. But here's where we'll we'll have the opportunity because these will reload at different times that so we can fire different tubes at different ships instead of all of them get, being fired all at once. I gotta be really careful here. Okay, we got two of them in the water already. Oh boy, there's a hit. And there's two more in the water. Now we're going to switch to aim on this other one. Now we just got to stay alive. It's only flooding in one compartment right now. We're going to get at least one hit. Probably two. And we'll see if that's enough. Now we spotted the fourth one again. There's a hit. Lovely. I need one more of those to hit for sure. We're about to be able to get some more in the water. I don't know if that other one's going to hit though. Oh, he just nailed me. I think this one will get him. It's going to be close though. It might actually be out in front of him. Uh, I don't know. That's going to be super close. Come on, baby. Yes. Wasn't sure that one was going to hit. We're about to put a bunch into the Hosho. Here it comes. These should not miss. Alright, boom. In the water. Looks like seven or eight of them. And we're going to turn off our torpedo tubes until we get close to these other guys. That should be a kill shot for sure there. I don't know. Musashi may still flood. 
I don't know how well her pumps are going to get on top of that. But we have to be really efficient with these torpedoes. Still 230 away from being able to fire smoke again. Oh yeah, Hosho is toast. They're going to take three for sure. That may be all. But definitely those three right in the middle. This one's going to just miss, I think. I don't think it's going to matter, though. Oh, they did just miss. Still, I think we got enough. Every, Pretty much every compartment flooding. Problem is, we didn't quite take out the Musashi. Hosho's going down. So we'll get over after these other two. We just got to make sure we don't take a shot. A kill shot somewhere. We're about to be able to fire smoke again. There we go. That'll help. Because these guys are not going to be known for their accuracy in 1900 tech. I don't want to fire my torpedoes yet, though. I've got to be efficient with these. Okay, here we go. All right, let's put a couple back against Musashi as soon as we get a chance. Need just probably one more to hit Musashi. Oh yeah, that's gonna be four. You're done. Sashi's pretty much dead in the water. And honestly, if I had 5-inch shells, I might actually be able to cause a little bit of damage. We'll stay going after Musashi for now. Just to get a finishing touch on that one. All right, here it comes. Oh yeah, I think that'll do it. Could you imagine being on this ship and seeing that and knowing that you're basically dead in the water and you can't move? I think that's probably the point at which you swim away from the ship. Take it and like it. <laughs> Glorious. And then there was one. Don't fire yet. Save those four torpedoes for when we know we can get a good shot. He can still take me out with a well-placed shot. All right. Turn them on. Make it count.
Fire some smoke. I don't know if that's going to be enough. That was a tough angle. We're about to get some more, though. Yeah, it's not going to be quite enough. Oh, well then. Okay. <laughs> so there's that. So that answers the question. Yeah, a 1940 uh, destroyer could easily take on a 1900 uh, battleship, five of them. Let's up the ante a little bit. All right, so this time we're going to stay at 1940 with one destroyer, but we're going to raise the uh, date by 15 years and go up to a 1915 technology battleships. Uh, but for that, I think I'm going to have to change my design a little bit because I think the design I had before will not get the job done uh, against these tougher ships. So this time around, we're going to get a double hull bottom. We're going to reinforce our bulkheads a little more. Again, though, we're going to go with torpedoes, but this time I'm going to go up to 24 inch so that fewer torpedoes can get the job done. Um, electric torpedoes this time. Again, we'll try to protect as best we can. Still go with two funnels here. And we still have to have one main gun, which again will do something that will take up the least amount of space and weight. And then we go with the torpedo launchers. This time, I'm going to go with tubes that will reload faster. So we're going to go with twos. And I'm going to actually put, can I do some on each side? Because that, what that will do is that will give me more torpedoes. Though it is going to add more weight. I'm going to do some singles. We'll have to probably drop the speed down. Oh, significantly. Oh, boy. Okay. That might be too much weight, unfortunately. And I'm afraid that with the speed the way it is, we may be inviting him to be able to hit me. So, Because he's going to be more accurate this time around. Oh, boy. I don't know. All right, so we're going to go with standard torpedoes rather than increased number because that drops about 300 tons and gets us a little closer to our desired weight. I'm just looking to see what else we can do that is going to drop weight. I guess we're going to have to go down on speed again. 38 and a half knots gets us exactly to where we need to be. All right, I'm not crazy about this build. But let's see what happens. All right, here we go. I give myself about a 50-50 chance on this one. I'm not real optimistic about my odds going up against technology from 1915. I'm going to wait to fire the smoke as long as I can. I'm also going to wait until I know I can get a decent hit with my torpedoes because when we fire them, we're going to fire a lot of them at once. Okay, smoke. One good hit could do me in here. What size guns has he got? Don't know yet.
Gonna keep going straight at him. Alright, I think six kilometers is probably about as close as we want to get. Oh boy, here come all the HE shells from the big guns. Look at all the splashes, my goodness. It's going to be tougher to fire the torpedoes because we've got so many tubes next to each other that the angle is pretty small for each of them. And because I had those turned off, we're waiting for them to turn. There's a hit. All right, I'm going to turn away. Give him a tougher angle to hit me while I reload. Oh, that hurt. That was an 8 inch shell. It caused quite a bit of flooding. Way more than I'm really comfortable with, that's for sure. We got a while before those torpedoes. Oh boy, that was a 14. And that was a 14. I just took two 14 inch shells. Yeah, we aren't going to survive this, I'm afraid. Come on, baby. Ah, jeez. Those guns got bigger in a hurry. I've taken four, three 14 inch shells, a six and an eight. That's probably enough to get this done. And my torpedoes are gonna miss. Ah. And I'm done. All right, so that shows you. 15 years makes all the difference. Let me know your thoughts. If you have a question or a custom scenario you'd like me to try out, use the comment section below. Drop a like if you would. We're going to be back in a few days with the next episode of our fictional campaign that we're doing. And then, of course, Taskmaster Tuesday after that. Thanks a lot.